guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this month, I decided to do something a little bit easier than what I usually do. It's a little less complicated and a little bit more minimalist just because I am so busy right now and I have so much going on, but I still really wanted to stay organized and do a spread. So I just went ahead and did this cute little flower wreath type thing on the title page. And again, it wasn't a whole lot of effort. It was just kind of a cute little subtle thing. And I did most of it in black and white, but I did add a little bit of that peach color just to add some color, and I think it turned out super cute. And I really, really actually liked the way that it looked. So, I mean, I'm not even mad that I had no time to work on this. Honestly, if you are thinking about starting bullet journaling, don't worry too much about the way that it looks. This is just for fun, and I love doodling and making it look more aesthetically pleasing, but for the most part, I bullet journal to make sure that I have everything in my life organized and put down on paper, and that's where you should really start is with the concept of it. Um, but it is fun to doodle and to kind of make it your own and personalize it and just make it look cute. So definitely do invest the time if you have it, but if not, focus on the fact that you need to get your life organized. So from there, I just started doing my calendar layout for the whole month. And I honestly am really liking doing the vertical instead of the horizontal spread for this, just because I find that I can actually lay out individual events and write things out a bit neater, I guess, just because it's not quite as confusing and jumbled and all over the place. It's just more of a clean layout. Um, and then on the other side of the page, I just do goals, notes, and then my little mini tracker for social media. And again, sticking with like a really simple theme. I didn't want to get too complicated, but I did add the little flowers just to kind of dress it up and make it look a bit cuter. So once I'm done those pages, I moved on to the habit tracker and the mood tracker. And I think these pages are so important and they honestly help me out so much just because it really does keep me on track. They really do kind of make me more aware of the things that I'm doing every day or not doing every day. And it kind of just gets me into those good habits. And honestly, by the end of the day, the more I fill out, the better I feel about myself. And it's just, it's so rewarding to get into this. So honestly, I suggest doing it if you aren't already. Um, on the other page, I did my expense tracker, which I do every month just because as a broke university student, it is so important to keep track of how much you are spending and how much is coming in. You just want to make sure that you're financially in a good place. Um, and then we move on to just my generic thoughts and ideas page. I always have one of these. I think it's so important because a lot of the times I just want a place to throw random information that I don't really want to assign to a certain section in the bullet journal. And it's just really nice to always have those thoughts and ideas in one place so that you're not constantly jumping back and forth and trying to figure out where you made notes. Um, and then, oh my gosh, this is my favorite page right now because I am going to Iceland in, well, the end of August, I guess, so the end of this month. I am going to be going to Iceland with my brother, so I am freaking out about that. I am so excited. I'm going to hopefully take tons of video and record the whole thing and take lots of pictures, um, but it's going to be amazing, so I can't wait for that. And then I just jumped right into my weekly spreads and I actually did two of them, but this is the first one. And I honestly, again, was just sticking with the minimalist thing. I didn't want to do anything too complicated and this was just really simple, easy and clean for me and super functional. I just wanted something that I could actually use and I just wanted a good amount of space to be writing my tasks for the day. Then in the bottom corner, I just did a little quote that says, enjoy the little things. And I think it's just cute to have these little reminders throughout your day and it's kind of just fun to add it to your bullet journal. Um, and then that's pretty much it for that spread. So then I moved on to the week after that. And again, I'm just really sticking with a simple theme for these. I wanted something cute, but most of all, just really functional. I'm so busy with everything going on in my life right now and I really just need to keep track of it all. So I need a good amount of space to just write everything and get it down on paper and make sure that my life is 100% organized. 
So that's pretty much it for that spread and for my journal for this month. I'll just give you guys a quick flip through of the month of August. So I think it turned out pretty well. It's honestly just so clean and so simple and so easy to follow. And that's so important for me right now. So hopefully this is inspiring you guys a little bit and hopefully you guys go and work on your bullet journal or get a bullet journal or just start organizing your life in some way or another. And until next time, bye.